Hi, my friends. Thanks for joining me. I thought I'd share with you um, the latest delivery I've gotten from Amazon. And I'm sharing it with you so you could see um, firsthand, rather than through pictures, what some of these papers look like. Because I know um, it's hard sometimes to figure out, you know, um, if they're going to look the same in person as they did in the pictures. Because I have ordered things before, and when I got them, been disappointed uh, because they weren't quite what I was expecting. So, yeah. I'll just share with you. Oops. Um, what I got. <laughs> now, I can tell you right now that this wasn't worth it. <laughs> I like the colors, but look how small that roll is. And I think I paid about $6 for this. So, in my mind, this is hardly worth six dollars so just be aware if you uh, use washi tape which many of us do um, this is black with the metallic gold metallic dots pretty but certainly not it's it's because I need to pay more or better attention to uh, to the sizes and the lengths. I assumed this was bigger than what each of these were, so I assumed this was going to be worth it, but it wasn't. So, yeah, so if you see this tape, it comes by itself. It's advertised by itself. Just be aware, it's very pretty, but you don't get much for the price. So here we have another package of tapes. Now I'll be using these in journals. I'll use them in greeting cards. I use them in uh, collages. These are cool. Some plaid washi tape. Well, who doesn't love plaid? I mean, I, I guess there's people that don't love plaid, but I love plaid. And then the last one. Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. So, yeah, these are all basically black and white and different pad, uh, plaids, not pads, plaids. So, I think I went up too close and was out of focus, but... There we have it. Now this was worth whatever I paid for it. I think it was, I'm guessing. Actually, I'll put the prices in the description because I, I, I can't remember right now what, what I paid. And the thing with Prime, with uh, Amazon, is they don't send you an invoice. So, there's nothing here that's going to tell me. I have to go look at my order online to see what I was paying. Anyway, just to show you, these are um, wooden slats, 4x4 four four wooden slats. And this is what I use to make coasters. So I use these and I use 4x4 uh, four four cork for backing. Okay, let's take a look at these papers. That's what I'm excited about. This is by Marguerite, Margaret, Margaret, six by six paper pad from Panaliza, Panaliza Craft. It, you know, it being the third week in, um, or middle, I guess, of October. I'm uh, working hard. 
and using a lot of uh, papers. So I had to put in a fair sized order. Okay, so these are all right, pretty dark. This one's very pretty. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I like that too. Yeah, these are nice. I like these. Especially nice for those who do a lot of vintage work, you know cards or journal pages or collages ATCs whatever you're up to okay now this one's interesting these are by who are they by I'll put it in the description I can't remember this is the same company for all these papers except this one so let's just go through them Nice, uh, nice cover. And this is called Deep Red. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's a little dry. These are double-sided, which I hate, because I can never decide which side to use. Although, I must say, they're the same on each side, so it really doesn't matter. It's not like you have one pattern on one side and something different on the other. <coughs> Sorry, I had to leave there for a minute. I was choking. Nobody needs to listen to that. Look how beautiful that is. These are so deep in color that I'm afraid you're not going to get a really good idea of these papers. But if you're looking for rich, deep red, that's definitely rich, deep red. Black and white. Same company. Now I just noticed manufactured by Amazon. So this is an Amazon company. These are black and white. I'll get lots of use out of these. Especially, oh, especially the black with the white dots. I uh, seem to lean toward that quite a bit. These are quite nice. So yeah, that's the black and white. Look at this. Starry Fairy Forest. Look at that. What a treat. Beautiful. Oh, this was worth the whole order. <laughs> They're gorgeous. And as I said, I'll put the company name in the description. Look at that. You see the little fairies? Is that not charming? Beautiful. Gorgeous, I say. Okay, this one's Bird Ephemera scrapbook paper. And each page will have some birds on it. Very pretty. Write some pretty. Nice shades of blue. So pretty. Isn't that lovely? With a glaze or a 
gloss medium over that bring it out give it a more of a 3d look beautiful And again, double-sided, but the same image on both sides. So, is it? Yeah. So it makes it, love crows, love crows. Makes it easier to work with. I, then I don't have to struggle deciding which side to use. So pretty. So yeah, that's the bird ephemera. This is called blue and gray marble. Nice. I like that, the side. That's cool. Different shades of blue. Sort of a turquoise blue, deeper blue, very nice. Okay, and our last one is vintage honeybee. Gotta love honeybees. I love honeybees. I wonder where that originates, the idea of the bees and the crowns. Queen bee, I guess. I really like that. Isn't that pretty? Right, some pretty. It's nice, these are all different colors the yellows and the pinks and the blues and the purples. Ooh, that's rather dizzying. In the hives. Very cool. Yeah. And then the honeycomb pattern. And that's it for my haul. I am. Um, I love them. <laughs> love the birds. These are probably my favorite. This starry fairy forest. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The deep reds, I, they're beautiful, but um, I think these are basically for backgrounds. Or, you know, if you're doing a collage, you're, depending on your color. Oh, I forgot about this one. This collage scrapbook paper. 18 double-sided sheets. Here we go again with the double sides. <laughs> oh, that same pattern, so that's okay. Yeah, start with the back. These are all that work done for you. Now, I have some videos on how to create um, scrapbook paper, how to create um, collage paper. But sometimes it's just nice to have it already done. I'm just going to lean this a little bit up so we get most of this book in. This one is, uh, this looks like maybe 11 by 12. Different colors. That's nice. I tend toward darker, deeper colors. My home decor is darker, deeper colors, but I'm really attracted to these nice, bright colors too. 
I just don't decorate my home necessarily with them. But I definitely appreciate them. What's not to love, eh? Some just sort of grungy looking. Paper. Yeah, so if you're not into paying the price that they ask for, because this stuff's not cheap. Beautiful, but not cheap, that's for sure. Then, uh, yeah, check out one of my videos. There's, I have several up there on making collage papers or journal papers, whatever, whatever you choose. Or, you know, card face, whatever you're using them for. And that's it. That's my, like, a little disappointed in this one, as I said. Well, not bad. I mean, it's nice, but. And the dark, deep red, beautiful, but rather limited. I like the black and white. I love the fairy. Love the bird. Like the blue and gray. And love the vintage bee. But you know what? That's my taste. So, wanted to give you a little, uh, boo at what I got in today and hope it uh, helps you in your decision because I'm sure there's a lot of us out there ordering things at this point um, for Christmas for gifts or whatever so yeah disappointed in this there's just not enough of it for the price I paid so and this one this one I'm happy with yeah so that's it I hope uh, that was helpful to you folks. I uh, would love a thumbs up if you've seen anything that you thought, uh, you know, you were glad that you saw. If you saw something you were glad you saw. <laughs> anyway, you folks have a fabulous day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.